What? Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have the Honey Monster, and we have this beer. This beer is Cameron's Ooh. Obsidian Porter, Imperial Porter at that. This is a rum barrel aged Imperial oh. Porter. Oh, <laughs> So, we are looking at a 9.2% ABV beer. Yeah. And yeah, that's a beautiful bottle. That is really nice. It's got a volcano on it and everything. Yeah. Dark and intriguing as the midnight sky, Cameron's Obsidian Imperial Porter is loaded with magnificent and robust flavor. Aged for seven months in Caribbean rum barrels. Mm. Roasted malt and chocolate character. Um, you know what? Rum is not my thing. But I love trying everything. Rum is so good. No, not all rum is good. Spice rum is awesome, especially with Sailor Jerry's at 46%. <laughs> That's terrible. It's good value. Angostura? No. But anyway, as I was saying, I Beautiful. this is the first barrel-aged series of their beers. They did their uh, two oak-aged, one of them being the Jack Daniels and another being another scotch. Well, another whiskey. And they were both amazing. Another scotch? Another whiskey. Oh, I thought you said another scotch, and I was another. like, oh my god, another scotch! Oh! But, uh, yeah, so they did, their first two were were whiskeys. Then they did, last year they did the VSOP, which was a uh, cognac aged pale ale. We didn't get to try that. Right, yeah. Uh, because it was only sold in a couple LCBOs. This Dicks. one... This one sold in a bunch of LCBOs. Don't you know this guy? Should yes. he be sending us this stuff? Come on. What's going on? Show the rhino some love. Anyway, rum barrel. Again, rum not my thing, but I love trying everything. So, let's what try these rum side? barrels. That seems to be pointed directly at me. Is he in the shot? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> it just seems to be really pointed right at me. <laughs> Anyone else want some? No? Yes. Oh, yeah. We'll all share in the festivities of stuff. Share the milk of human kindness. Thank you. And unlike some breweries, these guys leave it in properly. Seven months in the barrel is the way to go. Nice yeah. cinnamon colored head on there. Yeah. It's dark. Tiny bit of amber. Yeah. Tiny yeah. bit. Very little red. Yes. Very a little. Like the a little bit of deep, bottom. deep red coming through, but yeah, black. Yeah. Head, I wouldn't call that cinnamon colored, but everybody's different. Everybody has their own paradigm as why they say things they say. Because it's um, not dirty brown. It's a nice brown. But cinnamon's like <laughs> a reddish color. No, but the powder itself is kind of a brown. Yeah, okay. Right? Yeah, like the, the stick. Or a clove instead? Nutmeg? <laughs> color? <laughs> I don't know what the color of nutmeg is. Is it a brown? I, I got nutmeg. Oh, yeah. uh, that smells good. Oh, yeah. Oh. We haven't had many beers tonight that have had like a really, really nice smell, but this one? Aromatic. Chocolate, coffee, um, fig, a little oh. bit of vanilla. The fig coming from the rum barrel. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you can smell the rum in there. Yeah. It's good. Oh, it smells great. Yeah. Oh. Mmm. Mm. <clears throat> like, it is, um... Almost stoutish, you know? Honestly, the rum, like... The rum kicks in later, though. And it's good. Yeah. It's got that nice alcohol smell. Oh, come on. You kidding me? I was just a porter. If this is a porter, uh, I don't know what porters are. Because this is this doesn't seem like a porter. This seems like a... This seems like a, a picnic with a group of Imperial Stouts. It's... It is good. It's got a really, really strong mouthfeel. Um... 
foreground is, is lovely. You got the roasted, but you get a little bit of sweetness of those malts. Um, you get a nice bitterness on the background, and you get like a mouth coating and probably a little bit of sticky lips. A little bit, oh, yeah. You get sticky lips. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you spelled it, you jerk. I did, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Apologize to fucking Cameron's, buddy! <laughs> sorry, Bill. Oh. Sorry, Jason. This is, um. Yeah. Now, here's my thing with this. Dark and intriguing is the midnight sky. Hmm. Again, like you said, has a lot more body than you would expect from a porter. Yeah. Um, this has more stout body than some of the stouts we've had tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, majority of the stouts we've had tonight, I would say. Um, roasty, sweet, fig, vanilla. In all honesty, though, I'm not getting as much. I'm not getting as much rum flavor as you would expect. expect yeah. Um, Innocent Guns Rum Cask, mm -hmm. which was only aged for forty mm -hmm. some days. Had more of a rum flavor than this, personally. But more simple flavors, though. But it is a lighter beer, though, right? It's a lighter beer where those rum flavors can really yeah. Where this is overcome. a more complex, deeper beer. I still do taste the rum. I I do taste the rum on this, and it's it's on the foreground, and it's it's hard to tell because rum by default is a sweet alcohol, and you get those chocolate malts, and you get that nice roasted flavor. But yeah, you can you, I. I can taste the rum after like the first little bit. You yeah. definitely taste the rum. But this is. Well, I didn't say I couldn't taste any. I just said it wasn't as strong as say the Innocent Guns one. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, but Where yeah, again, I see nice. Innocent Guns rum cask. People, people that loved rum loved it, mm -hmm. and I didn't like it. Now I don't like rum all that much, but I love this. Like the fig comes out, the little fruity flavors that you get from rum come out. Mm -hmm. The vanilla comes out from the barrel. Uh, Everything comes out the way it should, but because this is a porter and a full-on stronger beer, like you were talking about, yeah, nine percent alcohol at that, yeah, it's hiding the, uh, yeah, it, it's hiding the overtness of the yes, rum. the, the overtness which would normally you get in the innocent gun where you're like, wow, okay, there's rum, yeah, right there. Where this is like, it's very subtle, but that's beautiful. It complements everything. Yeah, Every, because it, is innocent gun doing rum or are they whiskey? They've done rum cast. They've, they've done rum. everything. Yeah. Yeah, the rum cask is, like, I really like rum People cask. that love rum, love rum cask. People that don't like rum, don't. Oh, I love it's... rum. Not the oak stout, though. The oak stout, I, I will always go with that any day of the week. But that honestly, the smokiness this that is... comes out is nice. Yeah, it does have a nice smokiness on the background. It's to nice. say that this is a porter... That takes the bitterness away from I call, me. I, I call shenanigans. Nice. I, I call shenanigans on this. Like, this is, um, this is one of the better stouts I've had tonight. And uh, we've had some really good stouts. Well, but... porter and stout were both the same category for a long time, right? So yeah, but porter's usually a little more watery, you know, lighter. This is this is deep. It's got a lot of flavors. It's very complex, and that's something you normally get from an imperial stout, not from an imperial porter. But wow, yeah, that's no, a... I'm. It's like the volcano on the label. I'm impressed. Yeah, and that is a cool label. Like that is a very cool label. I have to say, Bill, your team, your team knocked it out of the park. Destroyed this is, it. This Destroyed is a great it. beer. It's really good. Yeah. And this is like Wayland Avenue. We all like it. Considering 1095. how different. Ten ninety five for that. On crab, on crab. That is. Okay. That now, is I mean, impressive. we we talk about prices on. Poisson don't lie. But I would pay ten ninety five for this. Oh uh, yeah, absolutely. This is a bomber. Nine percent alcohol. You only need a couple of these to get drunk in a night. Yep. And. Really, you don't want to buy these to get drunk. You want to buy these to enjoy. enjoy. Mm, pair. Um, you want to pair these. Pair them, yeah. Ten ninety five a bottle, not a bad price. Eleven bucks a bottle is a great price. Um, Incredible. I would give this a. Um, I don't know. This tastes amazing to me. I'd give we, it a nine seven five. Mm. I don't normally say this for a lot of stuff, but this. This really is a. Just impressive, I. And it's it's freely available. Like a lot of LCBOs have this. Yes. If a lot and of I LCBOs have this. I want to buy some more this, tomorrow, so I'm not going to tell you where I got this. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dick. Um, uh, online research. Yeah, looking at the LCBO website. 
Berry Street had a bunch of them. Really? Yeah, I was just say it can only be. <laughs> There's yeah, only two. Yeah, yeah. like, <laughs> only Berry Street. Huh. Um, price wise, taste wise. Yeah, label wise, what it claims to be wise. Yeah, what? you might have to go to every they corner store in Niagara Falls to find this. Really? Yeah, they have an RPA version of this. Well, no, they had right. They had the Cameron's RPA there as well. Oh yeah, I really like the RPA. The RPA is really good because that's a really seven dollars a bottle, but the same size. Because that's a really finicky beer to make, right? The RPA is really finicky. You and know what? This? We all like this. All of us. Yeah. That's weird. You know, it's good. Yeah, it's like, delicious. This would be. Yeah. Again, you know. When we were at, um, when we were at, uh, where were we? We were at uh, GLB, and they were talking about how they wanted um, craft beer to replace wine as a dinner serving sort of thing. This is this is this the was steak. Exact. Yeah. Okay. This was steak. Le mignon. Uh, yeah, uh, a steak. Any steak. Um, any sort of like, any sort of uh, darkly cooked meat, like a you chicken or anything like that. You can go with pork. Uh, pork's more of a fruit kind of beer, but yeah. It could. Well, this would go with anything, honestly. This is amazing. Honestly, and served as a dessert beer. <laughs> Still out of ten. Incredible. Um, nine seven five. The availability, um, price point, alcohol content, taste. Um, what takes away that point two five? Think? It's called a porter when it's really a stout. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Like... That's the only thing we're gonna that's take the away one from it. Teeny downfall. That's, that's good, it. That's a good downfall to have. Honey. Because um, if I'm gonna if, <laughs> if I'm gonna have to be critical about anything, that is the only thing I have to be critical about. This is a goddamn stout, and it's a goddamn amazing stout, and it's probably one of the goddamn best stouts I've ever had. This, yeah, I don't even know what to say anymore. I yeah I'm, yeah. Porter dance, motherfucker. Yeah, porter dance, motherfucker. Should we do a porter dance or like a quarter like porter? No, no, I'm just giving it. It says it's a porter. I'm going to give it as a porter dance. All right. What's porter dance? It's the. Yeah. All right. One, two, three, go, bitch. Porter dance. Porter dance, motherfucker. Porter dance. I'm not even chugging. No, I'm not chugging. No, I'm not chugging that. That is. It's too good. What a YouTube. It's too good. 